I wanted to share a few ways that you can pause or remove a user in Follow Boss without uh, damaging your data or losing phone numbers or anything like that. So uh, you would have to be an owner level user to do the majority of this, um, but you click on admin and then team or teams. It may be different in your account uh, and you may have teams here or you may just go straight to a list of all of your people. So as you can see here, you know, there's some options within here. You can change roles. Uh, again, if you are platform, you can add or remove, assign people to teams. Um, you can control export access, which obviously I don't recommend uh, for anyone that should not have export access. Um, you can also control the recording calls, but this pause leads is what I wanted to touch on here. If you've got an agent who is out of town or on probation from leads or something to that effect, you can easily click this um, pause leads checkbox here to just pause their leads across the board. Now there are some exceptions, things like Zillow Flex control their own routing uh, inside of there. So be mindful of this and maybe keep an eye on this the first time you do it. Uh, but for the most part, it's gonna pause them certainly from any groups um, or lead flows that are pushing specifically to them. So again, be mindful of that, um, but you can globally just pause leads here. If you need to lock out a user, there's not a really super simple, clear way to do that. But what you would actually, what we recommend doing, especially if you're a Google user, um, if you're 365, I'm sure there are other workarounds, the same thing may work, but I can speak specifically for Google, if you need to actually lock someone out of access to their account, um, you can just hit edit and you can change their email address. And as you can see, we've already done this here just kind of as a demo or to access this secondary account, but you can simply use your real email address if it's a, a Google Workspace um, account and just add a plus and then anything you want. So if you wanted to say, my name plus agent you're removing at your company, that changes their username. And so they're probably not going to guess whatever it is that you did that. So they won't be able to log in anymore. If you need to be able to take over this account, this does not give you access to the account. If you need to take over this account, you can change that email address and then go to log into Fall Out Boss, hit forgot password, put this in, and then the reset password link is gonna to come to you. Basically the plus and anything after is just an indicator. It doesn't actually control deliverability. So again, your name plus whatever will still come to your regular inbox. So this is a great way to lock somebody out either temporarily or um, for the, the long-term effect that you're going to remove them, but you're not quite ready to move all their leads or, or change a bunch of things that could affect your settings or routing. Um, so that's a, a good way to do that. Uh, I mentioned uh, phone numbers as well. So one of the things after you've done what you need as far as the data and contacts and leads assigned to that user, which I'll tackle in a second, it, when you delete their user, the phone number is still gonna show up down here as a released number. I'm not 100%, it's either 14 days or 30 days, but you're gonna to wanna to do it fairly quickly. But once you delete their account, their number automatically will show up. I'm here in admin phone numbers. It's gonna show up here and it's gonna say released next to it um, or something to that effect. Um, and then all you have to do, you're gonna to wanna to create a team inbox for this. If you don't have it, we've already got one here called old agents team inbox for this exact purpose. So if that agent's been with you for a couple of years and their follow boss number is out there and people might call it back uh, when they're ready to buy, you'll have the option once that number is released to um, swap. I think it's actually, you can actually move the number in particular when it's a, a released or deleted number. And you're just gonna move it to this inbox. So that way you've at least got a record. You can uh, obviously control who's on the inbox as far as receiving those calls but uh, you certainly don't wanna lose that number if it's something that's been in use for a while with your company. So again, it'll show as released. You can move it to this inbox and you can actually have multiple numbers in that inbox. So you don't have to create a new inbox for every 
um, agent that you've let go, you'll just you'll actually have a list of all the numbers here. And again, it will ring to whoever you add to this group. So again, obviously give them a heads up, like, hey, you might get some leads. If they're asking for, you know, Susie, then, you know, roll with it and say, oh, she's not here, she's not available or not with us, but, you know, I can help you. So that's a great feature. Another interesting idea is to potentially, if you need to delete the user, but keep their leads intact for a little bit, obviously tagging is a great way to go. You know, old leads, agent name, or, you know, leads previously assigned to or anything like that. If you need to do this quickly and kind of keep them off your radar, a pond can be a great way to do that. So you could actually create a pond, you know, say, you know, former agent Susie, and then select who should have access to that. Uh, all admins will have access to it, but you will still want to select a pond lead. So that should be an ISA or if you as the owner in production, you know, obviously you want to not everybody needs access to this, but you want to be able to tackle that. Be mindful that if you move people to a pond, any action plans will likely continue to run that are already running. And they will then start to come from this pond leads uh, email and real name. So just wanted to mention that, be mindful of that. But if you need to pull leads, let's say you're going to pull out their sphere and send it to them. But if you just need to get them moved, definitely creating a pond um, is a really solid way to uh, just get those leads over if you need to delete the user uh, and then figure out a little bit later what you're gonna do with them or if you just need to store them there to see if any transactions happen on those leads, again, another great way to do that. So just to reiterate real quick, admin, teams, your first easiest bet is just to hit pause. Um, if it is something longer term, potentially locking them out by changing the email address to yours or so, just some other email address, you can't have the same username on multiple Fault Boss users or accounts. So that's why we use the plus thing. You couldn't just put in your regular email address here. Um, it would give you an error message and say, this person's already a Fault Boss user. So hence using the plus, at least with Google Workspace, uh, and then again, moving their number to an old agent's team inbox or potentially using pawns and certainly tags uh, if you need to get those leads somewhere else. So I hope that's helpful. Um, obviously, none of us ever want to have to lock somebody out or, or pause somebody on leads, but uh, there's certainly reasons to do so. And just wanted to cover some quick ideas on how to do that.